Michigan Republican Congressman John Molinar is joining us right now. News Nation is certainly not ignoring this. Uh, you represent the state's second district where Chinese firm Goshen will begin building a battery plant in August. Uh, you're a member of the House Select Committee on Strategic Competition between the U.S. and Beijing, specifically the Chinese Communist Party. I have a question for you. Are these land deals a Trojan horse? I am very concerned about them. They uh, have risk involved. We have a process where there's a committee on foreign investment in the U.S. It's not working the way it should, and we need to fix that, and we need to do it quickly. There are a number of bills that uh, have been introduced to do that, but farmland is key. You know, food security is national security, and when it comes to our dependence on China, whether it's battery technology or other technologies, we cannot simply cede the field to China and uh, they steal our technology and it is a national security issue. In light of the Chinese spy balloon we shot down, just to name one issue over the past uh, several months, why hasn't the federal government stepped in over these deals? Well, it's a mystery. Uh, they say they don't have jurisdiction. Uh, unfortunately, the agriculture secretary wasn't even part of the CFIUS process. And so we need to make sure we're aligned and working together to prevent this threat. Uh, you know, countries like China, Russia, South, North Korea, Iran, they wouldn't allow us to buy property uh, in their countries, and we shouldn't be doing that here. Mentioned in Brian's reporting, uh, that Michigan plant Goshen uh, is right there in your jurisdiction. What's been your experience when dealing with them? Well, first of all, the residents' voices are being heard, and that's the important thing. Uh, you know, Goshen says it's only a subsidiary of Goshen High Tech, which is based in China. And, and actually, in the Articles of Association, Goshen High Tech has allegiance to the Communist Party being one of their key criteria. So the fact that it's a subsidiary with ties, it really doesn't uh, pass the test. And so, uh, you know, that's why residents are very concerned about this. We are behind in technology with respect to batteries, and we should be doing an all-out effort to invest in research and development of our national uh, battery program. You, you talk about residents, uh, a number of complaints about transparency from the neighbors there. People in your district are fed up trying to recall the entire local government in an effort to block that uh, plant from happening, in uh, that Goshen plant. Is there a chance the deal is stopped because of the people's concerns? I think it's important that citizens continue to stay involved. I think they are very upset because a lot of these elected officials, locally, state, even federal, sign non-disclosure agreements. And so they aren't being transparent. We don't even know what the communications between Goshen and the federal government have been. And so I think all of that needs to come to the forefront, be transparent, and uh, and let's find out, you know, the bottom line. And I think residents are going to have the final say in this. Yeah, I, I mean, at least they're going to be uh, deciding with their votes uh, on the federal level for sure. There's a note here that says this month the Treasury Secretary or the Treasury Department rather opted not to review Goshen's deal in Michigan. We'll see if that changes. Congressman, thank you very much for being with us. Thanks for having me, Adrian. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.